there are hundreds of optimizers out there for windows and you're probably not going to use all of them and you shouldn't be using all of them because they do almost the same thing maybe there are some key differences in some of the optimizers but again almost all of them do the same thing so in this video i'll show you guys the best optimizers for windows pc the top ones okay and this video is not in any order like best to worst they are all good if you want you can actually use them at once so the first best windows optimizer is called Wintoys. this is available on microsoft store you can go there and download it the reason why you should use this is first it looks good okay it's the cleanest windows optimizer that you can use okay it has the windows 11 style design language okay it, it looks professional and second reason think of this app as a hub for all the windows settings that you should or that you can change for performance tweaks or privacy related things it changes the settings on system level so it's like absolutely safe to use i'm not going to try to repeat this again and again just one more time, as I said, almost all the Windows optimizers do the same thing, no matter which optimizer you pick. The main thing that matters is how they do it, how they present it, and how actively it is on development. That's the main thing. And some optimizers have something different, something unique. So let me show you guys the best thing about this optimizer. If you go to tweaks and go to system here, you can enable something called Digital Markets Act or in short DMA. This is a European regulation because of this in some of the European countries where the DMA applies. You get more control over your operating system like you can uninstall and change some system settings that isn't available outside of the European countries like for example you can uninstall Microsoft Edge and now there is a new update coming you can even uninstall Microsoft Store if you want to. And there are many other things you can do with this feature. As of making this video, this is the only optimizer which offers this feature. You can also change other things as the other Windows optimizers, like you can uh, disable the ads, you can disable the telemetry, you can tweak uh, some system settings. Okay, you, let's say for example, this one is really good. If you don't like the web searches, you can disable it auto install suggestions you can disable it if you go into the health section here you can turn off the fast startup from here you can do it within the settings again as i said think of this application as a control center or hub for uh, changing all the windows settings easily okay that's what it does and again it also has some unique features like dma which you can't get on other optimizers or within the system you can also change the windows update settings let's say if you want to disable windows updates completely you can do that but it's not recommended it's recommended to get at least the security update let's say you don't like the constant feature updates you want to keep your windows stable you don't want to get the feature updates as soon as they come out so for that you can actually go and select the security option this will basically give you only the security updates and you can also select the manually so whenever you feel like you need to update your windows you can go and check for update and update your windows whenever you want you basically control the windows updates if you want to okay if you go into the performance section you can enable the ultimate power plan and uh, there are many other uh, things you can do like you can disable the startup apps uh, you can disable background apps you can uh, disable the activity history you can also change some visual settings you can change some gaming related settings if you don't use windows search you can also disable search indexing that's what i actually do on my main pc here you can see indexing is turned off because i use something else called power toys uh, command palette if you go to services here you can manage services like you can enable and disable services there is also a filter like you can select the microsoft related services and look for them and uh, you know each will give you the description what it does if you found that service unuseful you can disable it simply okay there is even a category for useless services you can go there and check services that are listed as useless by this optimizer you can actually 
disable them or send them to manual. Like for example, this one, download maps manager. You should disable it if you don't use maps. Who uses maps on Windows actually? So you can go and uh, just disable it. In app section, you can uninstall apps from your system. Think of it as a debloater, but to be honest, you don't really need a debloater because you can actually uninstall almost all the apps that comes with Windows from the installed apps section. You don't really need a debloater. Almost everything is actually uninstallable, but we have the option here to manage our apps. That's a good thing. But if you want to uninstall system applications, like for example, if you don't use Microsoft Edge, it's a bloat for you. So you want to get rid of it. As you guys know, you can't really uninstall Microsoft Edge. You're stuck with it, but you can go into tweaks and again, system here, you can enable this feature called Digital Markets Act and you can uninstall more system apps, including Microsoft Edge. This is like 10 out of 10 Windows Optimizer. Again, because it's clean, looks good, and it's safe to use. And it has the unique feature called DMA or Digital Markets Act. Next best Windows Optimizer is called Raytune X. This is a free and open source project at GitHub. And there is also a official website for this. Okay, you can go here and download this. This one also looks clean. It has the same design language as the Wintoys and also works similar to Wintoys, but this one is more advanced than the Wintoys. It does few things differently or it has some extra features that Wintoys doesn't have. Like for example, if you go into the optimize section here, you'll find many options that aren't actually available in Wintoys. Like for example, it has the option to disable unnecessary services. You can just uh, enable this and it will disable some of the unnecessary services on your system. Optimize system profile, disable sysmain. I just recently made a video on this. So if you're interested, you should go and watch that video why you should disable it. I actually have this thing disabled and each option has a description what it does and why you should disable it. Whenever you're optimizing your windows using some advanced windows optimizers like this one read everything carefully and then enable or disable the options let's say for example this has an option called compress os so this is really useful if you're running out of space on your c drive so this will basically compress the operating system and free up the storage but it's not recommended if you have a low end device it's like if you need this like you have no other choice you need some free space yeah, you got the option. Disable service host splitting, enable legacy boot menu. All these options that you see here are not available in Windows. It has the option to disable store updates if you don't like automatic app updates from Microsoft Store. Let's say you're gaming and the Microsoft Store is updating your apps in the background. It's going to impact your gaming performance little bit. You know, it's going to use your internet and some processing power to install and all that. So you can disable automatic updates and whenever you feel like you need to update your apps you can go and check for updates manually whenever you're free so yeah there are a lot of things you can change with the Raytune X. Think of this as a advanced version of Wintoys. Okay, you can use this and the uh, Wintoys together. We have the repair section here. You can run these commands, DISM, SFC, check disk without command prompt. You basically have the GUI. This option is also available in Wintoys. Again, it's said Wintoys and this Raytune X works similarly. They do have similar options, but the Raytune X has some extra options, the advanced one. In privacy section, you can disable ads and also telemetry, okay? Same as the uh, Wintoys, but there are some options that you won't find in Wintoys. Like for example, disable biometric features. If you don't use any of the biometric features on Windows, I don't use it. You can disable it because it's just a useless feature for you. In features section, you can enable and disable features that you don't want to use. Disable window transparency. If you don't like that, you can just disable it. Take a look at the taskbar here. Okay, it has the little transparency. Now, if I turn this on, the transparency is gone. It's now solid 
brown or black color disable print service i don't have printer i can't actually disable it you don't game on your system you work this feature game bar feature is useless for you so you can just disable it again it depends on the user what they want and all that all i'm trying to say here is that don't don't just blindly turn off or on every single thing you see on the optimizer this one is also really good optimizer and you can combine this with the winters this is also 10 out of 10 optimizer in my opinion next best windows optimizer is called winutil this is also a free and open source optimizer available at github and this is made by a popular youtuber called chris titus tech this also has some unique features like for example in install section here you can install some essential applications like browsers uh, or communication related or development related things if you like the arc browser which is getting discontinued now actually they should remove it from this list you can download chrome if you like that or you can download firefox almost all the popular browsers are here you can just download them with one click and it uses something called winget to download all these things okay you can download discord basically here you can quickly download all the essential applications that you need okay if you go into the tweak section here you can do the system optimizations and customizations to the right we have customize options okay like for example we can enable and disable dark theme or enable and disable bing search and start menu or the search okay and uh, similarly to other optimizers it has all the options like disable telemetry disable ads and all these options available in here and we can just select them and apply the tweak the best and unique feature of this optimizer is the micro win using this you can create your own lightweight version of windows basically you can remove telemetry and ads uh, you can uh, use local account you can uninstall all the bloats before you even install it basically you're doing a windows optimizations before you even install it that is the reason why it is called micro win i mean it, it makes the windows size smaller by debloating it and also you can have a local account and you can disable many tracking and telemetry stuffs in it you can also change the update settings you can disable the windows updates but it's not recommended at least get the security updates if you don't like the frequent feature updates here we have a clear uh, description about what the security settings will do if you set your windows updates to receive only the security updates it will delay the feature updates by two years so if you want the stable windows experience you should just go with the security updates in config section here you can enable and disable some windows features now the next best windows optimizer is called double o shut up 10 plus plus this is more of a privacy related optimizer you can disable ads and uh, telemetry okay we have two section in here current user you change the settings in user level if you go into the local machine you go even deeper on system level and change more privacy related settings okay basically you can uh, disable again ads telemetry and everything like for example disable sharing of hardware error reports disable camera in log on screen and many there are many options what you can actually do is click on action and here uh, click on apply only recommended settings and it will just apply all the settings that are recommended okay it will disable all the things that are safe to disable basically okay and if you want to go deeper you can actually disable everything that you want you can see there is this section called recommended here it says yes that means it's completely safe to disable it but if it says limited you shouldn't be disabling it but it's still okay to disable but if it says no that means you shouldn't disable it before doing that make sure to create a system restore point if anything goes wrong you can undo all the changes and yeah these are the only windows optimizers that you'll ever need okay these are the top ones okay the best of best ones in my opinion okay it's just a personal preference and i think most people will agree with me if you're not then you can always do the comment and we can have some discussion yeah that's it i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye, -bye.